Okay, this dog was operated using dormitory of the scatamine sedation. And so now, the perineal hernia is, is repaired. You can see. Now I'm going to give a, an injection, I am the antecedent to wake him up. So we'll see how long he's going to wake up. Wake up means he can stand. And uh, normally, I would say it takes about uh, five minutes or less. So we'll see. I'll see here first. This will reverse the antidote. This antidote, it reverse the the action of the metal so that the dog uh, wakes up and, and breathes on its own. Rather than you wait until the fellow wakes up on his own, especially old dogs. Old dogs, if they let them sleep too long, some of them may just die. You see. So now you will see the results. Uh, we just injected only. So I would say uh, within five minutes, you should be breathing normally and uh, standing. Now, some vets, they don't uh, believe in uh, giving antecedent because uh, they, they want the dog to wake up by, by himself. But uh, in my experience and, and opinion that if you let the dog sleep for a long time, things may happen. It might choke or he might uh, stop breathing or his heart might stop beating. So it's best to reverse the, the sedation, in this case Domitor, with antecedent, which I gave just now, and uh, let the dog wake up and breathe on its own. Now you can see the, the, the slowly he's going to wake up soon. Uh, so uh, normally it's quite fast, uh, this, this antidote, antecedent, it's a very useful thing. You can see the dog is breathing. He's breathing. Uh, you see, he comes out breathing. And, uh, and then once he wakes up, we, we are not so worried because he can breathe normally, you can see, you see? And uh, has a, each vet has his own uh, professional opinion. But my professional opinion is that you better wake up the old dog, this is eight years old, and you wake him up, and he's alert and he breathes and he, on his own. And, uh, and uh, we are not so uh, worried that he might die uh, due to the anesthetic length of time. Now you see, you can see the effect of antidote. It's very useful. And uh, obviously now this dog is more, more alert than, than just now. If you don't give antecedent, he will just sleep, sleep. Maybe one hour later he'll wake up, but still very slow. Maybe two hours, and then some owners are not happy because when they bring the dog home, he's still sleeping, you see? And it's not uh, even... Oh, okay, uh, sorry. So no, you can see uh, yeah. the effect of antecedent. Yeah. So, so now we see that uh, even he can stand up also, actually. Now it's only about how many minutes? It's about five minutes. Uh, now, you, you can see this uh, perineal hernia. Now, if you notice here, actually, from what I see, it seems to be there's another, or there isn't any, any, any. Mm. Now, the reason some vets don't like to give antecedent antidote is because they think that the dog may be too excited. Huh? Too excited, and uh, so they prefer the dog to sleep until the effect wears off. But for old dogs, for old dogs, uh, the excretion of dormitory takes a long, long time. So it's best not to, uh, to let it accumulate inside. And then uh, you never know uh, whether it just die uh, in the sleep after, after the, the sedation has uh, effect, affected the heart or the brain. But now you can see, this unlikely he will die. I mean, he, he will die because he's already uh, quite alert. Okay, now I'm going to back to it.